Hi, welcome to SVR Sports Picks. I'm Peter Loshak. He's Mike Brenner. We are the Odds Couple. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com. Today's Thursday, December 22nd. This is the NBA Odds Couple show for Thursday, December 22nd. Mike Brenner, let's throw the record up. You, I believe you had a winning day again yeah. uh, last time, so you're, you gained a couple of units, uh, yeah, increasing your overall record. Very nice. a half of a point mm-hmm. from cashing that damn oh, yeah. teaser because Portland mm-hmm. Trailblazers. But you know what? I own it when I lose, Pete, and mm-hmm. that is a team that is in total disarray. Mm-hmm. Terry Stotts has got to be saying, what in the hell happened? Um, I think C.J. McCollum column is a little overrated and I think Damon Lillard's a little overrated these guys have not been showing up they've lost like 11 out of 13 games ATS are not cashing so you know what I gotta lay off them maybe even fade them for a minute because there's a a lot of disarray in Portland right now okay good to keep good to keep in mind yep absolutely Uh, you know came out and got it done also, Houston. I had them three ways. Yep, I think yep. you jumped on the quarter. I had the quarter and the half, not Bam, the full nailed game. Them both. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Very yep. nice. All right. Yep. So, Mike Brenner, we got five games on yep. the card tonight. Uh, I guess let's start off with once again the Golden State yeah. game. Uh, you know, I mean, Brooklyn has been great ATS recently, but that's on the yeah. full game. And Golden State, of course, off of two huge, huge, huge uh, wins at home. They yeah. also have gone under in eight straight games, which is pretty interesting. But yeah. it seems like maybe yet another no brainer, at least first half play yeah. on Golden State. I mean, can Brooklyn? What's, I the, mean, what's the full game? Game line yeah, well, right now. it opened at 14. Now it's up to 14 and a half, 15 or 15 and a half. Jeez, so, uh, yeah, and the uh, it's a road game. So, you know, in the first half, give me that 14 and a half pistol. Are you sure? I'm dead. You sure? I'm, I'm, I'm more than sure. I mean, okay. the, the the nets have the nets have been covering I, I understand. game in and game I out. I understand, but this is a monster team coming in, and it's holiday time coming up. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, these guys just they're feeling good about themselves. They're going to play a great game. Nobody's excited about playing basketball for the Brooklyn Nets. Nobody. Okay? But they've been covering yeah. almost every but game. They, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. so I'm, I want the. I'm not saying they're going to. Are you sure? Okay. I'm positive, and I want the best shot line. All right. In that first All right. Well, we'll give you. Uh, we'll give you up the bookmaker line minus fourteen and a half, minus one ten, uh-huh. and then on the first half, uh, it's about eight and a half or nine. So we can give you eight and a half minus one ten. You got it. Have and that. I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to stay off on the quarter. Okay. All right, but I am going. I'm going half in the game. I think they just want to keep building on this momentum. Mm-hmm. They're healthy. They're feeling good. And the rotation, the way that um, uh, Kerr has the lineup going, he, he stated two days ago, I have a really good feel now for this rotation. Mm-hmm. So when that starts happening, things start clicking. All right. All right? Even though the Nets are covering. Yes, yeah. I understand yeah. that. Yeah. But this is a team coming in, and I think the Nets are looking for a break anyway. God, this will be our you know They just want yeah. to get home for a minute yeah. and take a couple days off. I'm all over at Pistol Pete. Okay, Mike Brenner, you do have some balls there, but yeah. your record does hey. uh, does speak for itself. Let's go to another game that's interesting as far for right now it's Ooh, a 10 foot ball but uh, tough, the, tough Spur, the Spurs have turned it around right they've covered I think uh, five in a row or something like that. Clippers yeah. of course lost Blake Griffin won and covered the first game without him which is something Guess that what? I remember think we, last year mm-hmm. Pete you and I were on top of that last year when Griffin went down for yeah. an amount, a good amount extended amount of time they found a way remember yes. they were winning yes. they were cashing yes. tickets and then it all caught yeah. up with them but right. tonight I got a feeling because you know who started the last game for them Paul uh, Pierce, he's right. 49 years old yeah. for crying out loud. All right, I'm not kidding you. This is a good spot tonight. You got, I'm, I'm on the Spurs on the full game because yeah. I just don't think L.A., that magic that happened on the last yeah. game yeah. wasn't against the Spurs. Paul Pierce is going right. to be tired. They're going to be doing some rotations. And, uh, uh-uh. I, I and love before it. that, the Clippers had lost six out of seven ATS, so they yes. were clearly overvalued. Not a surprise that they had a good game the first game that the yeah. Griffin was out. Now it's the second game. They're going up against a good team. The Spurs covered five in a row. Very Yeah, my yep. initial lean was, was, was Spurs a no brain where you think it is a good play. I do because uh, you know that game w- without Griffin the first game the uh, you know the other team the opposing team had trouble trying to break down how to play him so they had to figure it out. Right. But Popovich has already figured mm-hmm. that out mm-hmm. I'm sure and he's already watched some tape he's got this team ready to go. Uh, I think Aldridge is going to have a big game and I really really feel like tonight you're going to see Patty Mills go off. Mm-hmm. I love it. Give it to me. Spurs, All right. So what do you line. want? First half full nope, game. What full do you game, want? Baby. Full game would be uh, minus one and a half minus uh, one hundred five. I love it. Pistol. Love it. And I'm I'm curious to know why you don't why you wouldn't take the first half? Because or? I think the Clippers, I think again, the Spurs, they're going to have to figure it out mm-hmm. without uh, uh, Griffin, and mm-hmm. I think that might just take a little time. I think the Clippers are feeling good about that last game, and yeah. I guarantee in that locker room, they said, hey, wait a minute, last year when, when Griffin went down, we handled our business, we yeah. can do it again. Um, I really just think it's going to be a full game deal, and uh, Spurs have not been starting quickly on first half yeah. this year, yeah. so they're typically a slow starting team, okay. so all I'm right. all over that full game. Pistol. Nice breakdown, Mike Brenner. Alright, yeah. let's go on uh, a look at the, uh, the other games. Uh, one sure. game I'm thinking about uh, 
the Lakers in Miami. Yeah, right now, Miami's off the big OT loss to Orlando. They're pretty pissed. Lakers, and the three uh, nice covers in a row. I'm thinking maybe we might see an under here. Uh, the Lakers have played a couple of very high-scoring games in a row. I think they might, uh, you know, uh, uh, take it down a notch here, clamp a little defensively, and uh, and I also think that uh, Miami, you know, after the, after the, the high-scoring loss against Orlando, is going to try to get it. last night or two nights ago? I, it was two nights ago, okay. but I think that they're going to, you know, going to try to uh, play a better defensive game and, uh, and, and and try to get a win that way. It's right. uh, it's kind of a high total, but not. I, I wish I was getting in the mid two tens, but it's a uh, you know two eleven and a half, which is uh, which is not that bad. Uh, mm -hmm. The Lakers are very dangerous team to take unders with, of course, because they can be very explosive uh, offensively, have super high scoring games in the stratosphere. Miami also recently has been doing the same thing, but I think this yeah. one more likely to go under. What do you think, Mike? Well, I got a nice tidbit for this because mm -hmm. I did some reading on that last mm -hmm. game, the double overtime mm -hmm. loss. All right, they, they, they literally told this white side, you're going to be the face of our organization mm -hmm. moving forward. Signed him to that huge deal. He's mad right now, not just because of the law. He's mad at the organization at, at Spolster. They're having a little mm -hmm. feud. He said, "If I thought I was the, uh, you know, the, um, you know, the franchise player. Right. All right? He wants more touches going really? down. And he did not get it. They did not have any plays that were designed to go to him. And he's pissed off. I think he's going to come out on fire. And I think he's going to be blocking shots left and right. Mm -hmm. And I read an article that said he's not happy. And he's going to bring it out on the floor tonight. Um, Dragic has a little issue with his eye. I don't know how, mm. how that's going to be. And, you know, Lakers are fairly healthy right now yeah. besides Larry Nance Jr. sitting out. Um, this is a 10-foot pole for really? me, Pete. Yeah, that's but, some good research there, Mike yeah, Renner. It sounds to me like, story. I mean, what do you think? I mean, the problem is just that, you know, maybe if Miami, maybe Miami will come out on fire and, and, and put up a, a ton of points and, and the Lakers won't play much yep. defense against them. But, and you know. then again, you got, you know, you're talking about Luke Walton. He knows defense is a key to mm -hmm. a championship yeah. team, so they got to keep buckling down on that. Uh, I don't know if this plays too much into it, Pete, but Christmas is around the corner. There's a little break a couple days off. Yeah. Maybe these teams just kind of take it easy, want to get the hell home. I don't know. All right, God damn yeah. it, I'm going to well, take the go. unders. It's I'm going to take the first half games. under and the, then the full game under. I'll take a first I half under. It. First I half under this. is high. It's 108 and a half minus 104, so I'm taking that one. And the full game, it opened at 208. Now it's up to 211 and a half. But we know how these, it might close yeah. at 209. You know, sure. you never know. I'll take the uh, the pinnacle under 211 and a half minus 105. That was a great breakdown. Pistol. Yeah, God, thanks for your information, this. Mike Brenner. It yeah. makes me, uh, you know, a little bit more confident. Yeah. A little bit nervous, but a little bit more confident. It's teamwork, baby. That's what we do. Yeah. All right, then we have, let's go to Orlando. Orlando, of course, came off on the winning end of that uh, of that after after having a terrible game yep. right before that so 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 they're you know feeling good and uh, maybe this a uh, down spot the Knicks of course uh, you know they, they've they've been a, an over trending team uh, the Knicks have been great ATS on the road ten and f I'm sorry at home ten at and four home. ATS at home and Orlando's been good on the road nine and six ATS uh, 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 on the road, but they are coming off of that win, so I'm thinking maybe this is a spot to look at the Knicks. Maybe are what's, they good what's enough? The full game line you know, minus five. Are they good enough to give five points? I don't know. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Tough I, one. I don't know. Yeah, it's a tough you know, one. You know, Porzingis, is everybody healthy? Yeah. Carmelo Anthony, uh, you know, you always have that situation with D. Rose. Yeah. I'm thinking about the over, but I think I'll hold off on I'm that off. one. Yeah. 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 And then and then we got Boston and uh, and Indiana. And uh, let's see my notes on that one. I was Boston actually... Uh, winning a little bit here. Yeah. Uh, the Pacers... Yeah. The Celtics have suddenly won three in a row ATS, and the Pacers have lost four out of their last five, D, five uh, ATS. But, mm -hmm. you know, Boston's off of two straight road wins. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe this is a spot where, you know, Indiana gets it together and comes up with the home win. You know, I was I even know. thinking maybe think? the under in this. Yes, that I was thinking under at? as well. Yeah. Uh, it's 210 and a half. Oh, and the, like curiously, that. the first half under is, uh, yeah. the first half total is just 100, which is which is, which is is kind of odd. Uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I, I was definitely leaning under. I, I'm going to, I'm going with it. You will? All right, I'll go on it with trigger. you. This is another one that went open yep. to 208 and a half. Now it's up to 210 or 210 and a half. Beautiful. But wouldn't be surprised if it's also 209 by, okay. by, by, by tip off. Uh, so what's the number right. we're giving then? We're getting 210 and a half minus 110. I love it. Love it, baby. Yep. I think it's I wouldn't say I love it, but I'd say I like it enough to. I uh, think New York sloppy it. enough shooting wise. Their percentage is not. You mean good. Boston? No, I'm talking I'm about the Knicks. They don't shoot oh, too we, well. We're talking about Boston and Indiana. Here. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm right, not saying Knicks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, Boston, um, Indiana shooting. That's what I meant. And right. there, you know what? There's also that Rodney Stuckey guy was making an impact. Mm -hmm. He's he's out now. You got um, what? Oh God, I can't think of his name. God bless America. All right. Anyway, Paul George. Paul George. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. These guys are. I think they're getting tired as the season's mm -hmm. going on, and uh, I really think this is going to be a yeah. low scoring game, yeah. Pete. I yeah. really. I feel really good about yeah. this under. Well, Boston's been an under trender in general yeah. uh, this year, and Indiana's been 
keeping it under trender and at home. And they're finding so, a little defense yeah, again. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm I liking like it that. more and more. Thanks for yeah. talking this out with me, Mike Heck Brenner. Yeah, buddy, All right. So what, what are we do. on? Uh, I'm on the under in Indiana, Boston. I'm on the uh, first half and full game under in Lakers and Miami. And I guess that's about it. What do you want, Mike Brenner? All right. I'm on Golden State first half minus eight and a half and the full game minus 14 and a half. Pistol Pete. Mm-hmm, I love it. Mm-hmm. I'm taking the Spurs full game minus one and a half and Pistol Pete and I are going to drive that car to the bank on the under with the Boston game two ten and a half. And I got one more play. Okay. What's you that? Ready? It's yeah. a three team teaser. Okay. This one's not going to fall. Three team teasers. Uh, so those are six points plus yep. 120 bet online. All right. That's it. Bet online, baby. I'm going to go with Boston. All right. That'll put you at uh, plus four and a half. Love it. Golden State. Okay, that'll put you at minus nine and a half. Cash ant, bad boy. And the Spurs. Okay, that'll put you at plus four and a half. God, I love it. Pistol, I really like that teaser. I think it's going to be a casher. And uh, keep this momentum going, baby, right into uh, Sunday. Congratulations on yet another uh, winning day yesterday. Hopefully you'll have another one. I'm on the three totals, and I think I'm I'm, I'm okay with them. I think I'm liking them. I think think I'll cash at least two I'm thinking you did buy me a present this year. All right. (laughs) Yes, maybe I will. All right, Mike Brenner, nice (laughs) job. We'll be back uh, tomorrow for the Friday card. Odds couple coming to you. Go to sbrodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.